Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and I'm not going to lie, Phantom of Nightmare looked like it was going to be a pretty solid set, but now I'm absolutely over the moon for it, because I think I found one of my favorite new archetypes. Uh, this is the new Goblin Rider archetype, the new rank 3 strategy that's coming out of Phantom Nightmare that revolves around a whole bunch of different attributes and different types in order to make some really, really powerful rank 3 and rank 6s and span the field with some really, really cool monsters. Overall, I'm super excited for this archetype and I already see it having huge splash ability in both Punk and Gold Pride. If I can fit all three archetypes together, I will. But based on the fact that I think the Goblin monsters may need their normal summon, uh, I think they won't really work that well with the punks unless you play a very small punk engine. But I do think, however, they're going to have great synergy with Gold Pride. Gold Pride is one of the other TCG exclusive archetypes. It's also one of my favorite decks of all time. With the punks, right now my favorite deck of all time is Gold Pride Punk. And I want to test out these new Goblin archetype that's going to get a shit ton of support in upcoming sets outside of Phantom of Nightmare. And I want to see if Goblin Riders has huge potential in either a Punk Brew or a Gold Pride Brew or a mix of both. Shit, even a Goaty Brew. If you use the Punks as level 3 tuners, you can easily make the Synchro 6 Goaty guy and keep going from there. So, there's a lot of huge potential with these, uh, what's it called, Goblin Rider archetype. And I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Especially since it's in, intertwined with the uh, with the uh, Snake Eyes Diabell Star lore. Meaning, hopefully, the new Diabell Star and uh, other archetype lores will hopefully also support this archetype, making this deck absolutely insane. And I think for a first wave, its engine is absolutely incredible. The XYZ is a custom card. This card searches on act on summon. It uh, every end phase attaches goal a uh, goal. Uh, it's called a goblin monster from the deck. And during either player's turn, if a material from this card is detached, you basically get to snatch steal an opponent's monster and put it as material. That's one of the best removals in a game, and it's a quick effect basically because all the goblin riders. Well, at least most of them have a quick effect way to summon themselves on the field by detaching material. So you're getting constant searches from the deck. You're getting constant uh, removal from this rank 3. And you're spamming the field and getting constant searches. I feel like it's a very robust, very repeatable engine that has huge playability and a whole bunch of rank 3 strategies. Uh, I think punks have a huge uh, potential. None of their monsters are tuners, so you can play them with the punks. It makes them really, really cool synchro sixes. Also, they have access to other levels, which is really, really strong. And you also have access to the gold pride. The gold pride don't have a normal summon like the punks do. And basically, uh, this deck looks like it can turbo out rank threes really, really easy. So I could easily see you going into a rank three goblin play. And then being able to make another rank 3 into Captain Carry or Chariot Carry. Search out the continuous spell and get your entire Gold Pride engine line. Uh, that is absolutely incredible. And I want to see a deck that can quick synchro, quick fuse, and quick XYZ on your opponent's turn. And it looks like what, that's what this deck can do. Uh, there's some really, really powerful removal cards and negation so far for the archetype. But I do think by itself it's not enough. So I do want to see what you can splash into this archetype. Uh, I know in the comments one of my subscribers said Scareclaw, which is not a bad idea. They're the same type of attribute mostly. Uh, not attribute, typing. Uh, Beast Warriors and Beast. And honestly, they're also level 3s that spam the field. And the continuous spell gives you another normal summon. So honestly, I don't know. I, I, I want to experiment with these cards so bad. Um, there's a lot of huge potential with this new Goblin archetype. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if Phantom Knights didn't lock you into rank 3s, uh, not uh, into darks, I see potential there in this archetype. There's, there's so many ways you can splash this deck. There's no negates, there's no locks in the archetype itself. So, 
You can spam pretty much anything, which is absolutely incredible. And I really want to see someone break it. And I hope it's me. I really want to experiment. I'm going to be making some gold pride brews. I'm going to be making some punk brews. And I'm going to be making some gold pride punk uh, goblin rider brews. I'm really wanting to see how far I can push the ceiling of this deck. And see if there's like huge potential for this going forward. I think there is. I think the resource engine this deck produces is absolutely insane. You're getting multiple searches off a turn during the XYZ. You're getting multiple searches off the main deck monsters themselves that are all quick effects. And honestly, all this deck needs is some more removal, which the Gold Pride offer. Because the Gold Pride gives you a quick synchro and a quick fuse. Also, the powerful trap card known as Start Your Engine. And as you can see, I feel like this deck has huge potential to access synchro sixes. Uh, rank 3s, uh, if you play the Punks, you have access to the Synchro 8s and Synchro 11s and a whole bunch of like really cool possibilities. So I want to see the Brews, I want to see the Tech Cards, I want to see Cicada King, I want to see all the really cool Rank 3 ideas that everyone's thinking of to break this archetype because this archetype is right for the breaking. Like I said, there's no restrictions on any of the cards. Their continuous spell gives you another normal summon. So hypothetically, you can normal summon one of your punk monsters or hypothetically summon a scare claw and then use the continuous spell to get yourself another normal summon for the goblin. And since the rank three in their archetype is generic, you can pretty set up very, very well, very consistently. And that's what I'm most excited for. I feel like this deck has some really, really cohesive lines. And I can't wait to experiment and play test and see where this deck goes from here. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. And you all tell me in the comments what you're most excited for out of Phantom Nightmare. Personally, I was going to say... Uh, the uh what's it called the uh you bell cards are look pretty interesting but now that this archetype exists i'm most excited for this uh this archetype is gonna be insane um and i can't wait to see where we go from here but anyway hope you all enjoy don't do anything stupid see you on the next one and bye bye <laughs>